stay true to your vision, know what you want, but then also learn to take the criticism that's helpful and valuable uh, from people that uh, whose work that you respect and you know that they understand what you're trying to do. Uh, actually, writing began for me here in Tucker Hall. I had a study carol, which was like a little mini office, and I would go in there to study Victorian literature and American literature and Joyce and Wolf and find myself yearning to write my own fiction. So I actually wrote my first short story in the study carol on the main floor of Tucker Hall. Rejection can be fuel, and it's really hard at first. It's really hard, it's really disheartening, but, it, but everybody gets rejected. I mean, I have a book out, I, I've been rejected three times this week. There's a story in my book called Here. This is all the places I sent it to. You'll see I mark R, R, R for rejections next to it, and um, the dates. And then as soon as it got accepted, which was at the, the Johns Hopkins Review and the dates there, I would write to all the other ones immediately to withdraw. I think it's crucial for anybody who wants to write to know the shoulders upon which you're standing, um, the history of literature that's gone before. Uh, so many of my contemporaries have read, you know, people that have published in the 20th century in the past 10 years, 15 years, but they haven't read Milton or Dickens or Shakespeare much or, or Dante. So I don't, I don't think I could be the writer that I am today without having had the experience that I had in the master's program at, at William & Mary. So just quickly do's and don'ts on your cover letter. Do be concise. There's nothing worse than like a full page. I'm getting these now as an editor. I'm not going to read a full page cover letter that tells me their entire history and bio and then tries try to summarize their story that they're sending. The work will speak for itself and you want the work to speak for itself. I never had this sense of, oh yes, this is... In fact, it's the, the opposite. The more I work on a story, the more I start to despair that I'll never be able to capture that original vision that I had in my head. And really, finishing a story to me feels like failing. It's just how, I, how well I have failed. Like Beckett said, with every step, fail again, fail better. And that really is the experience for me. I do have uh, a list of do's for querying agents. Um, it's so important to be ready because you get one shot. If you query an agent, you can't revise your manuscript and then like send it to that agent again if they reject you. I mean, it's a one-shot deal. If you pursue your passion for long enough, eventually someone's, someone's going to find it. Someone's going to pay you to do what you are passionate about. But it, it may take years. I mean, it's, it's been 20 years since I graduated with my MA, uh, MA here. And my book came out last year. So uh, if that can be an encouragement even, stick with it. <laughs> Stay in the game. Last thing I'll say is uh, when you support your independent bookstores. These are the people who will keep art alive.